One player, two player, put controller in, and they turn the power button on and say, POWER ON! The quality's still a little... Eh. It's, it's not gonna be great. It's like, we gotta get to an area where it's smaller. I think the black and white... It looks a little better. cool, though. Like, it looks like a picture that somebody drew. It looks, cool. it looks like a, a neat little art piece. Right, except it's constantly moving. <laughs> <laughs> so it, like, kills your eyeballs and, like, you know, causes seizures. It's good. It's fine. Just You don't even have to watch the gameplay. <laughs> Just listen to the commentary. Meow. I like how much weapons, like... Nah. Oh my goodness. There's just a lot of like cool throwables in this game. Like, oh, like the like, grenades and bottles too. Yes, you can throw bottles at people. Yeah. And like make them react to things. Dude, I'll be honest, I don't remember any of this that we're at right now. You're good. We're getting to the scary, creepy part of the game. Oh, okay. I just I pulled some rogue horror shit that I wasn't fucking looking forward to. But I was pleasantly surprised. Yeah. I, I'm pleasantly happy when I get spooked in a game that wasn't supposed to be spooky. Yeah, if it's a good spook. Then yeah. So. Ashley hates that song. Why isn't she out there? She's like, it's a song about her blowing a guy. And I'm like. It's not just a song about that. Is it really? Well, a part of it is. Um, there's I'm a part. The bad guy? Yeah. Um, part of it is about giving a guy a, a BJ. The other part is about her sleeping with him and. Wait, what part? I've never like got picked that up from the song. It's about sleeping with him and then stealing him away from somebody else. Like what lyric is most notable? Um. Hold on. I mean, it's hard for me to remember any lyric besides I'm the bad guys. No, yeah, you're good. And I like her music. Yeah, and in general, it's, it's actually pretty good. There are some songs I don't like with no other. Well, yeah, there's always... See? I can definitely it's see about, how that's sexual. Yeah, but, it's it's completely sexual. Yeah, I don't. Where's the the BJ part? Oh, hold on, we'll get there. Sorry, guys. I'll try to turn it down. <laughs> Did we end the fucking episode and then leave the room? Chief alchemist. Once it was a solarium for pampered aristocrats recuperating from there you the go. Job. That's the blowjob bit. Now it's a place of alchemical study. I like I just went. Yum. <laughs> I don't fucking. I can't record it. It won't. It's fine. Kyle will just. Well, whenever the fucking thing shuts off and it screws the whole thing, it fucking destroys the whole fucking. It it, it throws off OBS because OBS is like, wait, this monitor doesn't exist. And so I have to close OBS and then open it completely back up. But I'm not in the fucking mood to do that. So. It's fine. People will know exactly where it is, and it'll be okay. Uh, Kyle will just throw it up, because we're at the part where she's fucking going to the thing. It's fine. <laughs> that was very descriptive. The part, doing the thing, going to the where. Perfect. Why does the trolley look like it has, like... And she's opening the door right now. Oh, well, there you go. You synced it. Best I can. <laughs> Good enough, it Is there stairs right next to that? Mm hmm. Yeah, there's stairs. Yeah, those are stairs. But then there's also a. Uh... Well, that's for disabled people. Uh, We're at a hospital. Uh, oh, okay, okay. See, I was not aware. Okay. I mean, it's hard to hard to tell what's going on. <laughs> you good? Yeah, Billie Eilish's uh, "Bad Guy" song is not just about a blowjob. It's 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 very much about her being a bad guy and. 
taking a man away because she's like, I'm that sexy. That's the whole song. And that's I mean, fine. Yeah, like, have if she wants. now she can for yeah, sure. She is super. Um, rich. not me, but anybody that's single <laughs> and ready to mingle, and, and also anybody who's not single and and ready to get paid and and ready to uh, ruin somebody else's life. Who needs morals? Exactly. Very, very perfect. <laughs> Who needs morals when you have Billy Eilish? Fuck it. Like, who who needs them? So, what yeah. is the goal of infiltrating this hospital? I'm trying to find somebody that was an ally of a man named Anton Sokolov. He is my ally. I'm trying to find him right now. Apparently, she was the last person he interacted with, and she has gone missing. Uh, and so, I am trying to find her so that I can find him, and vice versa. Gotcha. There it is. Oh, shit! I just reacted like I was playing the game. I like, I like how when you meet somebody like sometimes you just go run, you just immediately start s slashing off limbs, and it's like, all right, <laughs> he's on his way down. Why is he taking so long to die? You slashed him while he was like falling to his knees. I was so confused. That like took a hot minute for him to die. That was yeah. weird. I the animations in this game are insanely cool. They really are. Like the put away animations, even just like the normal stuff, like slashes and stuff. Like My. Of it is really what working. the hell? Why was that unlocked? You know how big a pain in the ass it was to fucking unlock that door the last time I played this? Maybe it's because you're going to kill them. So you can just kill them. Maybe. Maybe it is. I don't know. Maybe that's a gigantic difference. Maybe the key's in a different place if I don't kill. I'm sure there are things like that. Like, like uh, games do that. They make it harder if you do a. Like, kill on versus not a... Kill yeah, I, this one has an nasty habit of making it harder not to kill than uh, it is it to kill. To, yeah, it wants, yeah, to, it wants you to kill um, because the true ending would be not killing, so it has to be harder to get the exactly, true ending. Exactly, And there's usually more, like, puzzles and stuff that you do, like, I, I actually remember this part. Dude, there's some parts that I just actually remember. Like, mm -hmm. I didn't remember coming here, I didn't remember the hospital, and then that specific play you just did I completely remember yeah so where I was an idiot and I was like put down the stun mine that'll work just fine uh, what the fuck where did he come from where did he come from hold up you hide your face, coward. I think he came the off oh I didn't do that timing well at all oh my god this game is it's 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 for it's for adults and uh, late teens. Oh, uh. dude, how? Okay. Oh, saying, what the fuck? Listen, I don't know how it works. Maybe it's the power that the the god dude gave you. Mm -hmm. But you're like a hundred eighty pounds, like five four girl, just throwing these like two hundred pound guys across the room and slashing him in half. Oh, it's because my father taught me how to do all this, so like he he had me exercise and shit to like actually build up the muscle. Ah, uh, I gotcha. Because he was just on his one day. Yeah. I, mean, I guess you could have technically played him in this game. Oh yeah, you can. I've I've done both. Yeah. Uh, the first one I did Emily because she was the one that was advertised, so I was like, okay, it's clearly meant for her. Yeah. Um, like story wise, like it's supposed to be her, her story. But then I played as Corvo, and I was like, it's. This, so when I played as Corvo, you had different powers, and I was like, "This this game is very clearly built for her." <laughs> like, Corvo was an afterthought. I'm glad they put him in though, because it's fun, but very clearly an afterthought. It, it's obvious that like it makes sense, like the way that the the series were progressed, that this is the main character now. Yeah. But it is still cool that they give you that option. Mm -hmm. yeah. I very much like that. Just for. A different experience if you play it again, at the very least. So, pretty cool. Yeah, there's obviously a lot of effort that went into this game. Yeah, and it's a labor of love. I, uh, I didn't. When is when is the last time you've seen a labor of love from Activision? I mean, really. <laughs> Honestly. That was just a joke. This is not Activision. I'm aware, but I think the last labor of love from Activision was Crash Bandicoot and Spyro, and they weren't even developed by Activision. I feel like that happens a lot. Activision just. Activision is so big where they can just buy things now. Like, they just buy companies that like, just make this game for us. And then it seems like a really good game because they put in a lot of time, but then Activision gets all of the paper for it, so... 
power I'm off. Playing, but that's how it is. See you guys next one. Yeah, pretty much. Like Uno Mas. It upsets me, but yeah. Uno Mas episode. <laughs> oh.